Okay. Hi, I'm Detective John White, your host of The Blue and You, and welcome to this very special edition of our program. The city and county of Denver has a brand new crime lab. So first, we're gonna show you inside the old crime lab so that you can compare it to the new crime lab. Let's now join Deputy Director Mark Owen as he gives us a brand new behind the scenes tour of the new facility. We outgrew our facility in uh, 85. Uh, it's a system right now that we're still doing um, ISO accredited type work. We've got dedicated workers, but we don't have the space to work without bottleneck anymore. And to your right, we have our uh, organic instrumentation. Uh, we do a lot of drug analysis, blood alcohol analysis. But we were able, we were trying to find space to do uh, searching for trace evidence and for DNA evidence. And the only space we really had up on this floor was again in the instrument room that we're looking at, but in the very far corner. So we do, we have two different areas right now that we search for evidence, and one of them is in the instrument room. It works, but it's not great, so we need to improve on that. At this point, if, if I can, I can take you over to our DNA unit and again show you uh, how confining we are. Okay, and then before, before we get into the post amp, Make sure you, you look at the space that we have available and understand that I have 12 people doing the analysis, sharing the same space with each other, and realize the extreme uh, cramping and bottleneck, bottlenecking that we're going to be going through. So this just kind of give you an idea of where we're coming from. Latent prints. Latent prints are going to be doing um, fingerprints, uh, tire marks, and shoe prints. What Chuck's doing is looking at uh, an anhydrin print that uh, we got off the back of a, a payroll check. And uh, it's a chemical process that we do to help enhance the fingerprint on paper. But what he's doing right now is comparing it to a, a known 10-1 card. And this one here is a full palm print, so apparently we got, we got some good prints off the palm. And uh, we'll do a, some kind of a comparison, put it onto our automated fingerprint identification system and come up with a, a potential suspect for it. For each of our detectives up here, their workspace is uh, in basically centered around one light table. In the, uh, the new lab, the light table is part of a whole work center and uh, we've in probably increased the workspace for each individual about five or six times. Firearms. It's another, another area that we're making huge, huge strides in. We have a range back here. The range is like a 25-foot range. We have a, a, a vertical water tank that really can only handle handguns. If we want to do a firearm or a long gun test, we have to use uh, other facilities for that. This is uh, part of the old crime laboratory. And we're looking at their work area. Again, this is shared by three different examiners. There's not a whole lot of space for everybody to, to work together, so they have to work in shift work. This is our lunchroom. This is for 44 people to share. We don't have time to go to restaurants. Most of our people brown bag it, so 44 people share this lunchroom. Basically, this is our trace evidence unit. And again, they're, they're doing hairs, fibers, uh, explosive residues, gunshot residues, uh, fracture matches, soils, glass, anything basically that's inorganic. If you look around here and do a kind of a pan of the area, you'll notice that their administrative area is in, the, in their laboratory area and vice versa. Uh, again, everything is, is cramped and crowded and and just bogged down with stuff. At this point, um, I want to take you over the new facility. Uh, we have a, our ribbon cutting on June 5. We're going to start moving our equipment over starting June 11, and hope or hopefully we'll be operational by the 1st of July. So um, if we can make this move smooth 
and we can validate our equipment, we'll be up and running by the 1st of July. Thanks for joining us on R2 of Denver's brand new crime lab. Here are the days and times you can catch the blue and you on Denver's Channel 8.